What's going on guys, welcome back to another Roblox video. Today I'm going to be just starting a new GFX series for beginners. So what I'm going to be doing in this series is basically going over everything that you would need to know as a beginner making Roblox GFX. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is install Blender. So you can do this by opening up your browser, going to blender.org, okay? And as you can see, this is Blender. So if you do not already have it installed, you're just going to want to click download Blender. Now, I already have it installed, so I'm not actually going to install it again. But once you have it installed, um, you can just go ahead and open it up. Just like this. Okay, so this is actually what Blender looks like. Um, so there's going to be this thing right here. You can just click around it to get, close it. Um, so this is the basic setup that you're going to be um, having when you first join Blender. So when you're making GFX, you do not actually need this block. So we can just go ahead and delete that. Now, if you'd like to learn some more about Blender, then um, I would recommend looking up some tutorials on how to move and all of that stuff. But um, I have all of my things that I'm doing with my mouse right here. So you can always see if I'm right clicking left clicking or if I'm just like clicking a letter like X so um yeah make sure to look up some tutorials to get better at blender okay so once you've learned all of the blender basics from some tutorials then you're going to want to actually install a rig so what you're going to want to do is click on um, your browser and then go to youtube.com now search up paint rig b4 that just stands for paint rig version 4 okay now um, click on this right here there's going to be an ad that pops up but we do not actually need to watch the video all we need to do is go down in the description of the video where it says downloads under downloads you're going to see media fire click on media fire now click download okay so I'm going to be assuming that you know how to extract um, files so um, you're going to want to actually go into your files I'll drag this over here go to downloads and just right click on the Roblox rig and click extract to and then the name of it so Roblox rig before okay so now we can just go ahead and delete the um, dot zip file because we do not need that so just go ahead and delete it now we can open up the folder by double clicking on it now you're gonna see rig right here double click on that and then see right here it says type a double click on that and then click on faceless all right so this is actually gonna open up blender again for us and as you can see it looks a little bit different and we have a blank roblox character right here as you can see but uh, obviously there's no textures on it um, and there's re really nothing on it, so we're going to want to add our Roblox character onto here. So we can do that by opening up Roblox Studio, just like this, and then clicking on Classic Baseplate. Okay, once you've done that, um, you're going to want to install the Load Character plugin. This will be in the link in the description below. Um, if you would like to install it now you're going to need this plugin to actually make Roblox GFX so make sure to install that now um, once you've installed it you're going to want to go over to the plugins tab in Roblox studio now click on load character I actually have the pro version there's not much of a difference but it's pretty much the same thing it should look the same just click on that it's going to pop up as already pro. That's just the person who made it. Um, so now we can just get rid of this and type in your Roblox username. So I'm just going to type in mine real quick. Ooh, Lincoln blocks, just like that, YT. And now you're going to want to click R6. Make sure you click R6. Do not click R15 because then it will not work. So click R6. 
all right once you've done that your character might not actually spawn right on the bottom so select your character in the explorer if you do not have the explorer open you're going to want to click on view and then click explorer right here so now you're going to want to click this little arrow right here click on it all right and then scroll down to humanoid root part click on that and then if make sure you have the properties tab open if you don't obviously just go into view and click on properties okay so now once you're in properties you're just going to want to scroll down and you're going to see the transform tab under transform you're going to see position in position you're going to want to click on these little numbers right here and then type zero comma three comma zero okay so now that we've done that um as you can see the character is sitting on the nice place plate and if you actually zoom out the character is in the center which we need for blender so make sure your character centered um like i just showed you okay now that you've done that um you're going to want to click on your character select all of the accessories that your character has so you could just click on one of your accessories hold control and go down and just select every accessory you have okay i obviously have a lot of accessories so um just make sure you have selected them all all right so once you've done that you're going to want to right click click export selection then go to your downloads right click click new click folder and then we can just name this new roblox gfx okay now we can double click on this folder and um we can just leave our hats right here so we can just name this to hats just like that uh, make sure the file type is um object model or obj um actually that's the only option so just make sure you have that um once you've done that you're going to want to click save now we have our hats saved into your computer so now we can just go ahead and click the backspace button and as you can see our character only has its clothing and its body so now that we've done that you're going to want to select a model right here right click on it click export selection and then name this body okay click save and now we have all of the textures and our accessories saved to our computer so you're probably thinking how do we import this into blender so you're going to want to open up blender again so um the blender with the rig but what you're going to want to do is click on the head of your roblox character or the um, rig right here go into the materials tab right here it's just, just this little like world or this uh sphere looking um icon so once you have gone into that there's going to be surface right here and shader add reflex i think that means just click on that and then change it to principled bsdf now that you've done that you're going to see base color right here and it's going to be this yellow dot click on that yellow dot click image texture and now we can go ahead and open up the texture for our character so you're just going to want to click open right here now you're going to want to find the file um, that we just made so mine was called new roblox gfx okay right here double click on it okay and then click um whatever texture is looks similar to this is in the same shape so normally it's the first one or the last one um i have a lot of textures you're not um, normally going to see this many but uh, since I have uh, lots of accessories that is how it looks so once you found your texture right here you're just going to click open image so now as you can see we have our um, body and our clothing imported into blender so now that we've done that we're just going to want to import our accessories now so you're going to want to click file import wavefront.obj now you're going to want to find the same file so just um, find the same file that you just made or the uh, same folder and then you're just going to want to click on the hat obj right here click geometry and click split by group now you're going to want to do import obj and as you can see the accessories are on backwards so you're just going to want to do r z one 180 or 180 on your keyboard 
now once you've done that just click enter and as you can see all of our accessories are separated and we have all of our accessories on the character so now that we've done that obviously if we move our body the accessories aren't actually connected to it so we can connect this by clicking on um, any of our hats and just going to this button right here object properties now where it says parent you can just search head and then click enter so this is actually how you parent all of the head accessories so you're just going to want to do the same for all of your head accessories i'll just do that really quick okay so now that i've done that you're probably thinking um what about all the other accessories like the chain and your back accessories so now as you can see when i move my character all of the head accessories stay on but we still need all of these back accessories like i said so now we can just put the character back and select your one of your um accessories so i'm just going to select the chain if i can actually it's not letting me um let me just find the chain okay right here and this is only for neck accessories so if you're not dealing with a neck accessory do not do this but since i am i'm going to want to select the chain and then hold shift and then click on this little line right here now you're going to want to do control p on your keyboard and then it's going to set say set parent to you're going to want to click bone um now we have that parented so the chain actually moves with our character just like that um so now we need to do our back accessories so just select your back accessory Hold shift and just click on this little box right here and then do control P and then do bone. Okay, so um, now you're going to want to click on your other accessory. I have two back accessories then just do the exact same thing that we just did. Okay, so now as you can see all of our accessories are parented to um, our Roblox character. So um, that's actually going to be it for this video guys. Um, in the next video, I will get into posing and doing all of that fun stuff. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!